everyone welcome back to my channel today I am filming my February plan with me for my main bullet journal and the theme that I went with is sort of a mixture of a couple of different things I was very inspired by Rococo art and uh, depictions of Aphrodite and um, sort of a pink and gold general theme and I went with a lot of collage, a lot of things that look like writing, handwriting, um, and love in general. I think it's a really good February theme given that February has Valentine's Day. To make this theme, I went on my Pinterest and I found some pictures that were really inspiring to me. Um, I love this painting of this girl pulling her hair back. I think it's so romantic and it just gives that kind of soft girl, Aphrodite core kind of vibe. Um, so I chose that for my cover page. And then I was also really inspired by this illustration of white horses on the waves um, and I want to say this is by Margaret Tennant uh, but I will have the citation in the description and this was from a song um, one of my favorite artists just had a new album come out and the song is actually a few years old but um, it reminded me that the song exists and the song is called exist for love and it's inspired by Aphrodite, so the whole album is actually inspired by like the Greek gods. Um, but this one song is inspired by Aphrodite. It has a line about um, feeling like white horses on the waves, um, because in the myth, Aphrodite or Venus was born from sea foam and carried to um, an island, and that's how the goddess of love was born. So that was one facet of my inspiration, and that's actually going to be at the end of the video. But for this first spread, I just have this picture, and I'm doing sort of a collage. Um, lots of gold, lots of pink, and sort of a vintage writing aesthetic. The quote I chose for my cover page is from a Taylor Swift song. The song is called Daylight, and it's probably the first song I thought of when I thought about kind of a golden theme. Um, so the lyric goes, I once believed love would be burning red, but it's golden, like daylight. Um, and yeah, I just really, I really love that line, I love the song. Uh, if you've never heard it, definitely go check it out. It's called Daylight. Um, and yeah, I thought that really matched my vibe for February. This next spread is for my goals and tasks of the month along with a habit tracker and throughout the month I wanted to use this new um, it's sort of a sticker pack that I got from Amazon uh, I'll have the exact link in the description but I found this on TikTok um, and it's just a collection of kind of themed color themed pages of stickers and that are like clip arts um, with tons of different little things and yeah, I just was like, immediately, I thought that was so cute, so I wanted to use a bunch of these. Uh, I've got a bunny, I've got some roses and flowers, some little quotes, um, and I'm also using some washi tape. Um, trying to stick with the pink and gold vibe, sort of the soft Valentine's aesthetic. So February 3rd of 2022 is actually my one year anniversary of doing YouTube. 
Um, and I just wanted to say that I'm really glad that I started this channel. It's been super fun for me. I don't have a huge audience yet, um, but I was always really worried that it was going to kind of steal some of the joy that I find in doing journaling, and it definitely hasn't, um, having to do it kind of in front of a camera. And I just feel really glad that I started this channel and really lucky that I get to explore different techniques and I get to make videos and uh, talk about these things that I love and talk about organizing. And yeah, I'm just really glad that I started this channel and I'm so glad that you are here watching. This spread is for my diary of the month, aka a highlight of the day. I used to call it highlight of the day, um, but sometimes I just find myself kind of recording the day rather than looking for one highlight, so it's just more accurate to call it a diary at this point. Um, and for the picture on this page, I am using this beautiful painting that I've always been so obsessed with. Um, I'll have the name of it in the description, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's in that Rococo style of kind of that light, romantic, effervescent, um, frothy, very naturalistic uh, energy uh, with the girl in the swing and the pink dress. And um, for the opposite page, I just have my diary written out all the days of the month. And then after this was filmed, I actually went back and added a gray highlighter on every other line. Um, that just helps me keep kind of my lines straight, not that I need it with the dot grid, um, but I just like how it looks visually. I feel like just having one expanse of writing is not as interesting to look at as mild liner, and I think mild liner makes it look a little bit more intentional. So I just used a couple of different washi tapes on this page, and I also added a quote from another Taylor Swift song. This is from Seven, which is off of her album Folklore, and it talks about a girl in a swing, and it's also kind of a naturalistic, um, wild song, so I thought that kind of fit the, uh, fit the energy of this spread.
this spread is inspired by another bullet journal youtuber her name is monique here and i will have her channel linked in the description um, so this spread is for a youtube checklist where you can list the videos that you want to work on that month and then at the top you have the different components and steps to making the video so for me this is going to be super helpful to try and stay organized and I could see it being really useful if you like to work out of order as well, um, or if you like to batch film. Um, and I could see this working for other things where you have multiple projects going on at once, or like a cleaning list. Um, so I'm really looking forward to using this. And then on the other side, I have my art and business goals. Um, so I'm actually trying to move away from weeklies for at least February and see how that works. Um, and I will let you guys know how it goes. I'm thinking about trying to split my uh, work processes in my journal into more lists of goals and tasks that I want to accomplish in these different facets of my life. So I have one for YouTube, I have one for my art and my business, and then I'm also doing one for moving. We're gonna be moving in a few months and then wedding planning. So we'll see how those turn out. So for this spread, I used a picture of a swan, which is um, A, one of my favorite animals, but B, it also is one of these soft, romantic, Aphrodite style motifs. Um, which I was trying to stick to. I also used a heart washi tape and then I have stickers of like oyster shells full of pearls which since Aphrodite I think she was born from an oyster shell in the myth um, and she was like covered in pearls uh, but I would have to look that up. I will I'll try and have a link to the myth in my description in case you are unfamiliar um, but yeah, I really love the aesthetic of this page. I think it's really pretty with the kind of maroon hearts and the lavender and blue um, washi tape and picture. So this is my moving to-do list and my wedding planning to-do list. Um, I used another soft um, pre-Raphaelite kind of painting. Uh, and then I have some pearl stickers. Um, there were some doves. Um, I have this super gorgeous roll of washi tape of these vintage I want to say like simplicity pattern dresses and some of them look like wedding dresses but unfortunately the washi tape roll is really terrible quality like adhesive and it's almost impossible to get um to like unroll it uh it, it sticks to each other it tears it doesn't want to come off without shredding into tiny little pieces um so it took me like five minutes to get this one dress image off, which makes me sad because it's such a pretty roll of washi tape, but, um, you know, not all washi tape is created equally and, uh, some of them are just not great adhesive, unfortunately. Um, but I have that for the wedding planning page, um, and then for the moving page I also have a washi tape of, like, locations. I really love this one. This is, like, my famous architecture around the world um, so I like to use that when I have like a travel moment or any kind of um, yeah like architecture moment um, and I also have some hearts and some pink and gold of course and then this is my playlist so I have the um, seahorses illustration by Margaret Tarrant. Uh, I'll have her linked in the description. She was an illustrator um, and I just love this style and I think it matches so well with the lyric uh, from the song that I was highlighting. Uh, I was talking about this earlier in the video. The song is called Exist for Love by Aurora and it has a lyric about uh, white horses on the waves um, and 
yeah, and feeling like you exist for love. Um, and the song is supposed to be kind of Aphrodite's song. So that is for my playlist. And then I obviously used another pearl and oyster sticker. And um, at the end of the month, I will go back in and fill in the songs that I was listening to most, uh, the top five songs of the month for me. Um, typically, I do a playlist over in my music journal. However, my music journal, I haven't been keeping it super up to date lately, so I thought I'd stick this in this main journal for now. Um, I am hoping to get my music journal and my film journal and my reading journal and my fashion journal all up to date, but there's just so many of them that I, um, you know, I've kind of gotten behind. So hopefully I can get caught up on those this February, but until then, um, here's my playlist in my main journal. And then I ended up making this spread after I had stopped filming. Uh, I forgot that I hadn't made it yet, so this is my expense tracker and then my winter to-do list. So this is my final flip through. Let me know if you liked this theme and what your favorite spread was, if you had one. I really enjoyed doing this theme and I'm really enjoying using these spreads. Um, I think I might try and do this style some more. Um, definitely not every month because I like to do the artsy kind of illustrated styles myself. Um, but this was a really nice kind of break from doing all the art myself and I think it's still really pretty and really functional. And yeah, I just really love how this theme turned out. So let me know in the comments what your favorite spread was, and maybe let me know what you're doing for February, if you're uh, doing a Valentine's theme or what your theme is. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.